a new world order, a brand new day. And my life, no way. It's a new world order. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Listen, welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. All right, let's talk up in here, you guys. You know, I would believe, you see, in the 80s, how long are we talking? We talking almost 40 so years ago. Is that, yeah, probably. Um, I don't know if, how many of y'all remember George Bush Sr. talking about a new world order? A new world order. And he was so proud. But I think he called it one world order. Right? Nobody knew what the hell the ramifications behind that was. But the Trilateral Commission and all of those guys, and they knew. And they still know today what the plan is for the resetting of America. Because we at the precipice now of Jim Crow. You got Mississippi trying to make it like it was. Um, going all out full white supremacists. I really can't stand when people say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at all the white supremacists in government. They've been there. What have you been? This is the reason why no one wants history taught in school. All through history, all through Jim Crow, and your biggest staunch white supremacists, Klansmen, were our government officials. So ain't nothing changed. Y'all got, it's all, a delu it's all an illusion. And once you can convince the people, especially my people, that all this was an illusion and that we better get back to what's real or we going to perish with the great whore. A lot of y'all think that this is going to last forever. Listen, they didn't already took a lot of our pensions, and now they're going after our Social Security. Um, there are some people out here that are going through some real-life crisis. Have you seen the homeless in Portland? Have you seen the drug users out there in the open on, in Philly? Have you seen it? Man, listen. Any town USA, we're supposed to be the greatest country in the world. And don't y'all see a country in decline? How many of y'all have us have seen a, a movie? What? What was it? Escape to New York? Beyond Thunderdome? When you walk in Walmart, that's what it looks like. And the real life factor of it all is who, who is going to be able to stand? Who is going to continue? To fight for the underdog when the when the world is crumbling under your feet. My motto is you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make them drink. But you have an obligation to teach the babies. 
I want to know what y'all think about it. Y'all, what do y'all think? Is this a country in despair? I mean, look what happened to the young man on the subway. So now these people think that they've got the red light to just kill us, be vigilantes, like some damn death wish Charles Bronson type of stuff. The vigilantes now. We already dealing with George Zimmerman. And why he still is alive. I really do believe that it's a crossroads in America. And who shall be able to stand? Yep. Who shall be able to stand? I'm going to go. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. And I'm going to see you in the next video.